What's up, low lifers? Chuck Bailey from the Base Channel here, and today we are doing the SVT VR by Ampeg. <laughs> SVT VR is a vintage reissue of an early 1970s Blue Line SVT head. The preamp stage, power section, and even rocker switches emulate the exact signal path, tone, and vibe of the original rock and roll workhorse. Authentic from its input jack all the way to its six 6550 output tubes, the SVT VR is a must have for rockers seeking that in your face Ampeg bass tone. Coming in at 85 pounds, the SVT VR features two channels, four inputs, 12 tubes, and delivers 300 watts into either two or four ohms. A balanced XLR direct out with a pre-post switch along with two quarter inch speaker connects and a speak on jack let you have all of that sweet vintage tone with modern capabilities. <laughs> We're running this amp into an Ampeg 810AV, mic'd with a Shure Beta 52 and blended with the Post EQ direct out. As I had said before, this amp has two channels. Well, kind of three, but we'll get into that in a bit. First, let's run down the tones and features of each channel. Both channels feature a normal and a bright input jack. The bright jack enhances the high frequencies of the input signal. Channel 1 features controls for volume, treble, mid-range, and bass. Treble provides up to 12 decibels of boost or cut at 4 kHz, while bass provides up to 12 decibels of boost or cut at 40 Hz. Mid-range gives you up to 20 decibels of boost or cut at the selected frequency, which is determined by the 1-2-3 switch in the center. The mid-range frequencies are 220 hertz, 800 hertz, and 3 kilohertz. Yeah. 
ultra high enhances the amount of high frequency output of channel one, while the bass cut ultra low decreases or enhances the low frequency output of channel one respectively. Now, let's check out channel two. Aside from the obvious omission of the mid-range control, the remaining controls are similar to channel 1 in that both treble and bass give you up to 12 decibels of cut and boost at the same frequencies. Rather than rehash the technical info from earlier, let's just hear a few sound samples. The ultra high and low switches also perform the same functions as channel 1 with the exception being that the ultra low switch does not feature the bass cut option. The hidden third channel I alluded to earlier is actually the result of bridging the two channels together. This is achieved by connecting the bright input of channel 1 and normal input of channel 2 with a patch cable. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
Finally, let's hit the front end hard to put those preamp tubes to work. That's it guys, SVTVR. If you know, you know, and if you don't, hopefully you know now. Tell me that does not sound amazing. This was all brought on because your guys' feedback on the last Ampeg video we did was so positive and so many views. That's still circulating, we appreciate that, but tell us what you thought of this. Is it a contender? Does it take the throne or is it same? To me personally, I, I, I feel like I feel like this wins for me if I had to pick between the two. That bridging option, that third option that we talked about, oh my God. Especially in like drop tunings, that sounds amazing. Try it, get one, see what I'm talking about. I mean, it sounds good in every tuning, but I, I got to do it in some of the different drop tunings and standard, and it just, I don't know, that 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 bridged option and that those really low notes, it just sounds huge. I enjoy it. I can see why Ampeg is Ampeg, because their stuff is awesome. I was just telling Chris that, it's like in and out You know, they have like four things, but they're all really good, so you, know, you, you don't pick a bad thing. Obviously you can get this anywhere you want, but it would help us a ton if you hit the link below and got it through Zounds. Mucho thanks to Billy and the rest of the guys and gals over at Zounds. Uh, we appreciate all of your support and your help for the channel. Uh, we appreciate your guys' help and support for the channel too. Again, if you're not a Patreon subscriber, make sure and go do that. It's super cheap, it's easy, it gives you access to all kinds of behind the scenes content. Uh, the Zounds link, again, like I said, will be below. Hit that, go straight to Zounds and check out that MPEG SVT VR. And again, Billy and, and the rest of the crew over there, they take, uh, they take good care of us. So we appreciate them and we appreciate you. Again, this is Chuck Bailey with the Bass Channel. We'll see you next time.